Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss how to solve a slab program in C++ language. So let's see. This is my question. Now what is the meaning of slab program? Slab program means when different conditions are given with different statements. This is the slab program. Now how will you solve it in C++ language? First of all let's type the necessary statement iostream.h hash include con io dot h and then there is void main opening curly braces and also closing it now inside this opening and closing curly braces i am going to write all the codes now let's see what is the question asked now there is a city book fair going on which is giving some discount according to this following situations now what is the situation number of tickets books how many tickets you are booked discount is given upon that if the number of tickets books is less than 6 then you are having a discount of 5% if your number of tickets booked is between 6 and 11 both the limits included then the discount given is 12% and if the number of tickets book is 12 or more then you are having a discount of 20% so this is the conditions and this is how the discount will apply now first of all let's see what is the input we are going to take let's find out in the question first so here it is input the number of tickets booked whenever you are doing a slab program or any program first of all find out what is the input so here is the input the number of tickets booked how many tickets you are booked that is your input so number of tickets cannot be fraction it is has to be integer so in the question they given the variable we need to use that is t so t is for the number of tickets booked now let take the input c out number of tickets booked now you can give backslash n or indel anything you like next using c in i am going to take the input t now they say how many tickets booked the discount will app, uh, will apply accordingly but here one condition is given more that is cost of one ticket is rupees 50 that means the discount will be available on the whole price money discount will be calculated on the whole price money not the number of tickets discount is applicable as per the number of tickets but discount will be calculated on the price money not the number of tickets booked so first of all we have to calculate the total price suppose you purchased four tickets so what is the total price actually that is 4 into 50 rupees 200 so 5% discount will be applied on rupees 200 not on 4 4 is the number of tickets so we need to calculate the purchase price less take this variable as purchase price means pp i am also taking it in integer because number of tickets in integer and the cost of one ticket is also in integer so the purchase price i am taking it in integer so pp equals to t multiplied by 50 so this is our purchase price uh if 
the discount is not available what money you have to spend to purchase these number of tickets this is that t into 50 so we calculated it now we need to calculate the discount so discount percentage is in integer so i am taking a variable say dp to store the discount percentage so the condition goes like this if number of tickets is less than 6 so if t less than 6 because t stores the number of tickets then what is the discount percentage we have we have 5 discount percentage next if number of tickets is between 6 and 11 both limits are included so we need to write t greater than equals to 6 and t less than equals to 11 so if the number of tickets is between 6 and 11 then our discount percentage will be what 12% and the last condition is if the number of tickets is 12 or more so this is the last condition so i am going to write just else so else dp equals to 20 now in the conditions i only write the discount percentage i only store the discount percentage in a variable named dp i did not do any calculation inside if else if or else why because the calculation formula to calculate the discount and the what we have to calculate we have to calculate the discount availed in terms of rupees whenever you are asked to calculate the disc how much discount you availed that means it is not the percentage value that means you have to calculate it into rupees so we need to calculate two things once discount availed how much discount you availed in rupees and the another is the amount payable that means after deducting the discount how much you have to pay from your purchase price so the calculation formula for both the discount availed and the amount payable is same so i did not write in inside if else if or else because the formula is same i am writing it only at one place so this is after we have doing the condition i use the condition only to store the discount percentage here so after completion of this i am going to calculate the discount available and the amount payable now for discount available and amount payable it can be in fraction means first of all discount available can be in in fraction so for the discount available i am going to store it in a float variable discount available i am saying is variable da so first calculate it da now it will be calculated on the purchase price not on the number of tickets according to the number of tickets the discount percentage is applicable but we calculate the discount amount or discount available on the purchase price so there is our dp and we will divide it by this so this is our calculation done for the discount available now we have to deduct this discount available from the purchase price to get the amount payable now the purchase price in int and the discount available is in float so when you are deducting some float value from int value you will always get a result in float so amount payable 
amount payable i am taking it in float now calculate this amount payable purchase price minus da so this is our amount payable now all you have to do this is to print these two values so for printing i am using c out discount availed that is our da if you want to write a rupees here you can write da you can give endl previously i give backslash n when you are writing backslash n that is inside double quotes and when you are writing endl that is without double quotes now c out this is amount payable you can write a rupees also and then amount payable and then stop after that if you want to give a get ch it depends on your compiler when where you are running if you are running the code in turbo c++ you need to provide this con io dot h header file and you have to provide get ch but if you are compiling and running it in some other you don't need to do this so this is the solution of this particular program this is the whole solution of this particular program